uh, walk in the old. What is happening right now? <laughs> Boom! Okay, we found it, and we didn't pay a hundred dollars. We it. didn't. Mother. It just got so good. If you buy a case and you sell it like that. Yeah, you're gonna have to. Yeah. Um, now, we only bought seven bottles. Today. Yeah, so, I mean, not quite a case. Uh, if you want to DM, <laughs> sliding them DMs, 90 bucks shipped. Wow, that's a good deal. I know, that's see, I'm not an ass because I've reasonably priced the $40 bottle of whiskey. Hello. <laughs> yeah. I've got we don't have seven. No. We bought three between the two of us, and yeah. none are up for sale. How about that? Yeah. We're yeah. decent human beings. We also have, Ooh, that's a loose, we also that's a loose decent. Two stores that we need. We True. Around two cities. Um, Coming but, to a city near you. Yeah, so this... Uh, Elmer T. Lee. This rounds out our mash 90 bill. proof. Okay. <laughs> our mash bill, too. Single barrel sour mash. That's untainted. Small... I almost said small, but I'm just going for buzzwords. Yeah. <laughs> that's why. You're gonna oh. do this now? Yeah. I don't even know if we have a real intro yet. <laughs> no, it's going. We're the bourbon junkies. Sean's gonna open a bottle. Hit her. Eh. Middle row. Eh. I've had better. Pour in mine first. Yeah, I can smell it here. It's the thing. All right, I'll give you some facts on this while he does this. Elmer T. Lee. Good man. A bourbon man. Um, wait for it. Come on. Wait for it. Okay, that's yours. <laughs> wait for it. No, no. Well, the reason uh, that single barrel, mass produced single barrel bourbons are also pushed to market in general. So, Wait. earlier video, I said that I would be able to smell painted Elmer T. No, 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 we have to preface this just in case. Yeah. So this right here is a bottle of Elmer T. Lee that has been open uh, for like forever, for about seven years, not yeah. really, but for a while. It's been this full or more full for a very long time. About since. Yeah, it's been open. Uh, yeah. So there used to be a number on here and it said B15, which 15 is the year that it was uh, bottled. So. Yeah. And then we looked it up and they pretty much said, well, that, that yours is. It, it was a tainted. Is it corked or tainted? They call it corked, but there was a- It was tainted a, with chemicals. Yeah, there was a chemical in there that made it taste corked. This bottle was purchased today and just released. And on the side it says L18, I believe. I think that this one tastes like ashtray. Pond water. You think it tastes like pond water. Yep. He's gonna pour it, mm -hmm. mix them up, mm -hmm. know which one of the tainted one. Probably. Well, I'm gonna walk away, you do that. Okay. Okay. Yeah, walk away. Making sure I got the old right one. Oh, I poured a lot. We're gonna just have to dump that out after we're done. Now we're gonna know the one with a lot is that one. I'll fix that. Wait, I don't remember. Okay, you're gonna have to do this before I forget. You've never smelled real Elmer. Sean's never seen a bottle of Elmer T. Lee for real that wasn't tainted in his life in person, except that, literally. Okay? You're saying you're ruling that one out, okay? Uh -oh. <laughs> okay? I would like to point this out before we are done with our experiment here. How many times, we've done like three or four whiskey wars, how many times have you started off wet? Know exactly what that is and not been right at all. I don't okay. have to taste them. <laughs> you tasting them? You going into a taste yet? Yeah, that one. It's which one? It's the last one. Hundred percent. Yeah. After I just went back through okay. again, I was like, oh no, there it is. You're right. Because I was like, same. So, same. I started with that one too, and then I was like, oh, they're all there. Pretty when you similar. set that down and you were about to rule it out, I was like, oh, thank God, <laughs> this is the best day. Okay, yeah. That's Going point. back through the, that second time. We'll taste it after we're done drinking yeah. the Elmer. The second time is really where it, I could like, well, really distinguish because it was like same, same 
wildly uh, different. A lot of times you'll smell something, mm -hmm. and then when you go, you're like, that's pretty good. And then you go back and you compare it and you go, oh, oh whoa, that's, that's like way shit. different. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Um, all right. Perfect. So that's yours. This is mine. Which one did you lick? This one. For real. Nailed it. Elmer three for three. T. Lee Sour Mash Whiskey. It smells great. It does. It smells good. Um, I haven't had non-tainted Elmer T. Lee in probably three years. I do love me a Blanton's and same, a Rockville. Same mash bill. I don't oh. get, I don't get oh. the apple that I do with the other ones. Third cheapest, uh, Buffalo Trace mash bill to bourbon mm -hmm. after Ancient Age and Hancock. Um, I actually paid this more for Hancock than I did for this. Yeah. Now that I think about it. We were not the biggest fan of Hancock. Yeah, it's, it's, just, it's pretty It's mediocrity in a bottle. Yeah. You know how I've said caramel before in about probably every video we've ever made? This is identical oh, to Hit it. a green apple dipped in caramel. Yep, dipped in caramel. I'm talking, you go to the old fair, and they go, oh, you want a caramel apple? And you go, oh, of course I do. That was one of the best foods at the fair. And then you go, oh my gosh, I just smell what I'm eating. That's exactly what happened. But it is not the, the prevalent smell. No, but that's the caramel is the prevalence now. Yeah, but the it, tart, like sit, like apple-y yeah, thing is underneath. It's straight it. syrup for me. Because it doesn't smell like maple syrup. To me. Caramel, butter. It smells like Ooh, it's going to be rich. Okay. You know what I'm getting? Hold on, wait for it before you taste it. That smell? Butterscotch. Hmm. Well, the old first taste, I'm going to go honey. Yeah. Fruit? Heavy. Honey and fruit. Like, uh,. Like an okay finish. Oh my gosh. I'm but trying, it kind of came back a little bit. I'm trying to decide if it's, uh, yeah, a little bit it's um, like in the really, finish. It's like tart at the very, very end of that finish. Decide if it's barrel or there's like, oh, it's more of like a spicy fruit in there. Or 15% rye, whichever. Yeah. It's got good spice. I like it. Man. Uh, I like it. So retail's 40. We paid 50. Um,. It's Dude, it is caramel apple. It is like the most caramel apple-y thing I've ever good. smelled. I would preface this a little bit and say uh, pretty big fan of most of this mash bill. This is right up there for me. And we just had Blanton. Yeah. The other day. This is 90 proof, which is the second, uh, excluding H&H because I don't know the proof. This is the second lowest proof. Rock Hill is 100, I think. Rock this has a little bit more like oomph to her. I like uh, it. We haven't opened a Rock Hill in a while. It's got this really crazy, sweet, um, honey specific flavor, but it's on like the back of my tongue. It's only, it's when I, it's as soon as I swallow is when I feel it. It, it sticks it's, too. It's a like, little yeah, tart. Like, mm -hmm. It's nice. Honey and oak. All right. Yeah. I mean, if your palate's like super unrefined and it's uh, narrow minded, you know, then yeah, I would say that. It, it's weird because the finish seems short. Cause it kind of uh, it dips. Uh, yep. We back on Sean's roller coaster of bourbon rides. He just made fun of me. It goes, whoop, and then it levels, it levels, and you go all the rides over, and it goes, gotcha, boom. Not quite that bad. About exactly. Okay. No, I mean it, you can feel it come rise back up on you a little bit. I'm not talking about the burn, because I just, you know, I'm talking about the finish here, right? Yeah. So I'm done. I, just, I quit. <laughs> it was about damn time. I just want a little bit more. Come back to the little more. Mmm. Man. This I wish is, this it's was... just a classic $40 bourbon. Yeah. It is a classic, smooth, easy. Yeah. Yeah. This is basically is this... our flavor profile yeah. in a bourbon for $40. Oh, yeah, for sure. But, but what I would say if it was going to lack something is it would be complexity. Yeah. There's not a damn thing in here I go, mm, taste it. What's that? Not yeah. one thing. It <laughs> that, feels that a little sweetness. Pretty, it coats you know really what? nice. It, it, it feels, feels good round, in your mouth. Dude. It feels yeah. round like a ball. Except yeah. inside the ball, it's full and it's figured out and they did it. You know what I'm saying? You had me for a while. <laughs> like right into that last half. You let's, know you get traditional Let's flavors. talk about something else. Secondhand pricing. 100 to 120 is what I've seen it sell for. 
I'll what, say right now. Forty is way too Forty dollar bourbon? I don't think there's any in there. Seventeen ninety two single barrel would be the closest for me. Yes. Agreed. But I mean, there's not much else that I would go to. Maybe like seventy bucks, probably that. Or seventy bucks, like forty bucks, probably that. This is a good one, I believe. I don't want that. I want to do with it. What are you doing? I'm gonna taste that next. To oh, bro! You like it in the can. We haven't tasted this again since it, we've opened it. Mm. Handcapped <laughs> President's Reserve, which we fumbled forty-two times the first time we made the video. Let me smell yours. Hold on, I want to smell next to each other. It smells wildly different. Yeah, Winnie the Pooh is going nuts over this. Malted okay. raspberry. Okay, Elmer Lee might have a worse nose than Hancock. Hancock being open for like two months, a month. Yeah, it's opened up a little Well, that's where it changes. Yeah. Yeah, no, that's where it goes downhill. This reminds me of the... That smells good. 1792. And pour the rest on the floor, please, good sir. Is it the most empty, thin water you've ever had? I would agree with your 1792 comment. Yeah, it's it's that really strong green apple happy flavor that I like a lot. And then it goes <laughs> oak, caramel. It tastes like I hope you wanted nothing. Shittiest rye I hope you wanted ever. to get drunk and yeah. not taste a thing. It's really smooth. I always forget that like 44% of the greater curve. Okay. So, based on retail, 40. We I know. paid 50, so we we're close enough. We'll say, yeah, we'll say for that. Oh man, I'm we're all... gonna say we're basing our review on 40 to 50 bucks for this bottle. Not much beats it at 40. Here's my problem with this this bottle at that price point. There, I just had it happen the other day. Shout out Draper. Um, I he go somebody asked me Draper. Uh, I want a bottle. He either said 40 to 50 or 50 to 60. I can't remember which. And he was asking for bourbon. That's a really hard price it's range to consistently find. The bourbons that we I enjoy. I told you what you get. No, no, no. Sixty dollars. You get seventeen ninety two. Yeah, that's forty bucks. Forty to fifty. Yeah. You want to spend a little bit more? Really I would recommend it? this forever. Yeah. In the forty to fifty price range, if you could find it. Yeah. You can't. This is not a recommendable bourbon. No. Okay. Nobody will get it. So, I'll give two grades on this. If you find it retail, forty to fifty bucks. A. Oh. If Where I could blend. A, I don't know. You know why? It's just super good. It's not the most super complex thing in the world. It's not. But if it was readily available on the shelf, you would never not have. It. I would never I not would have thousand bottles on my shelf. You look at it in the store and you go, "That's forty bucks." Yeah. Well, what else am I going to buy for forty? I'll just yeah. buy that. Because there are Every several good time. bottles in that thirty dollar range. Sure. Like, oh, oh, I like those. That's a hundred. But the twenty to thirty is low. sitting on the, the shelf next to it, I would spend the ten dollars more for it. I'm going to go. Spend the twenty dollars more for it. I'm gonna go at the 40 to 50, I'm gonna go A. The 40 to, we'll call it 40 to 60. The 40 to 60 price range is very hard to, and there's probably a reason for it, but it's really hard to find the really good bourbons consistently everywhere across the country. Yeah. But it's probably because 40 to 60 is a relatively reasonable price for most people. Yeah. 80, you start getting like 70 to 100. Most, a lot of people, unless they really like bourbon, aren't gonna go there. Some people who like bourbon still aren't gonna go there. Yeah. You go to the 20, like the 10 to 25. You can still find good stuff. You there. can, but you're getting a lot of people who are just going to get drunk and yeah. buy bourbon to get drunk. Unfortunately, <laughs> I do that at the, the way too expensive range. Now you go like the 25, 28 to 40 range. There's yeah. some old Foresters. There's a couple yeah. things in there that we like a lot, but 30 or 40 to 60 is really hard. At the hundred dollar range, it's like a D plus for me. You hear me out before we stop doing the grading. The, I don't think it matters. No. I don't think you can grade things at second hand because second hand very, very much so takes rarity into consideration and collect, well, in collectability. The people who made it don't intend yeah. that. Yeah. Like it would be like saying Pappy 23 is not worth two grand. Oh. The intention of the bourbon is 40 to 50. I Maybe guess. 60. 40 to 50, this is a solid A. Not an oh, A plus because yeah. we go Just there. An a. We go A plus right now. Dude. dude, for a plus, I have to want to die to receive it. You know what I'm saying? And when I say receive it, alright. Well, yeah. <laughs> this is Elmer T. Lee. We're the bourbon junkies. And the proof is for sure in the fourth. Uh, don't get 15. Don't get 15.